Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. I cannot wait to get the show started. Really, when is the last time you had a good foot race? I... <laughs> It's been a long it's time. It's been a while. It's like elementary school. Right. Yeah, right down the halls of KDKA. There was no prize <laughs> at the end of that race except joining all of you, which is yeah. a best, the best prize. It, yeah, it is the best prize. Yeah. Yeah. So we are celebrating Christmas all this week because mm -hmm. it's not Christmas. No, don't be alarmed. It's Christmas in July, which we have sort of taken to this year because 2020, let's face it, has not been a cool year. So no, it's been a really tough year for a lot of people, but but yes, the halfway mark, we can get into the holiday spirit. We can celebrate all the same and we did so starting yesterday. Yeah, and I think we got off to a great start mm -hmm. uh, today. We're actually going to be talking to Santa Claus in a little bit. We made ornaments yesterday. We have holiday cocktails tomorrow uh, and we have Christmas music. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And we want to show you this beautiful Christmas tree because New Bowers, our friends at New Bowers Flowers in Uniontown, came in, set up this tree, and it sort of has a beachy theme. Yeah, little mermaids. It has little mermaids. It has some like ocean kind of colors in it, uh, but it's very cool, and we love it. So yeah. we appreciate them, them coming in and Steve setting it up. And company. Yeah, it's nice, and it is just good to think about. I don't know. The holiday season is such a joyous time and can be. Yeah. And so it's nice to just get into that mode right now. Absolutely. And we're all looking for something positive and good. Yeah, so all this week we're going to be celebrating and we enjoy or we invite you to join us and celebrate as well. And you know, one of the best gifts I think, especially for kids, mm -hmm. for uh, or adults, yeah. you know, is giving someone a book. Well, you did that for Rocco for his birthday. Yeah, I, I mean, I just think it's a, it's kind of a sweet thing, and mm -hmm. if you can encourage reading in kids. And so I want to show you something that one of my friends came out with, and I'm just so proud of what he was able yeah. to do. So he has a book for you. It, he wrote a children's book. He wrote a children's book called Giraffe Has a Bug. And look at this. He did the illustrations in the book in addition to writing it. So it's about a giraffe that has a bug. Uh, and then it, the giraffe has to go through the, the tr trials of getting rid of the bug. And anyway, it's a cute little story. And it's published. And you can buy it on Amazon. And, and my friend, Robert DiDonato, we call him Dietz. He lives in Squirrel Hill. He is a retired elementary teacher. He has always been super creative. And so he came up with this, and he wanted you to have a copy to read to your kids. Aww. And I just think it, it's such a great idea. And it, and reading to kids is such a special thing. I love the illustrations in this, and they're, they're, I can see why kids would really enjoy this too. Uh, we we love reading to our kids, but I have to give a shout out to my husband who does most of the reading mm -hmm. to the girls. He puts the girls to bed, I put the baby to bed. Sometimes I have to do all three of them if he's at work, for instance. But he reads to them every night. They get yeah. to pick a book. They alternate turns. Who gets to pick the book? One of my favorites, the pout pout fish. Okay, that sounds good. I've good. not I've not read that. But it's it good. <laughs> I I can almost recite it word for word. And <clears throat> even fairies fart. It's a great one. It's kind of like <laughs> embracing our imperfections. That right. everybody, you know, everybody's a little quirky. Even fairies fart. Like it's right. okay. Well, no, it's it's sort of important to know that that those sorts of things. Every, it, it, it's it's a common denominator. Yeah. yeah well, so. anyway, if you can get kids laughing, yeah. sometimes they're more engaged and they understand the meeting a little bit better. So that opens the door. It so does. that's fantastic. 